Welcome to the No BS Tour of the CMMI for Development. This is a series of short videos that explain in a common sense way what the CMMI is about, how it's structured, why it's useful, and the elements of the model. In this segment, we'll look at the engineering process areas as windows into completing our engineering tasks. They involve developing the technical solution to the customer need, integrating the product prior to ship, making sure that the requirements are satisfied, and also that the product will perform as intended in the customer environment. Developing the product involves identifying alternative technical solutions to the customer need, designing those solutions, and implementing those designs. Since there are usually several ways to implement a set of requirements, we want to identify the best one for the customer need based on effectiveness, efficiency, ease of use, or some other criteria. Once we've thought about the solution, we can design it. Design naturally involves the actual designs, but if we're handing off a design to an outsourcer or a separate group for development, we'll also include all the other information a developer needs to understand the requirements, the design, assumptions made during design, perhaps some wireframes and the like, and whatever context information is needed to produce the product. The CMMI refers to this as a technical data package. Of course, we also want to design the interfaces, and when appropriate, determine whether we need to build from scratch or can take advantage of existing modules or code. Then we implement the design and build any supporting documentation needed, operating instructions, user training, or whatever makes up the complete product that we deliver. Before we ship the product, we want to make sure all the parts fit and work together. The product integration process area focuses on this and overlaps a bit with testing and validation activities. But the primary purpose of the process area is to make sure that the product has final integrity before we release it. The first goal is about having an integration approach in sequence, making sure the integration environment is as close as possible to the operating environment and being disciplined in how we go through the integration process. The second goal focuses on making sure the interfaces are complete, work together, and are managed as integration occurs. And the third goal focuses on actually integrating the product to make sure all the parts work together, then packaging and delivering the product. Note that this applies not only to whole product development, but also to component updates or partial releases as well. Verification answers the question, did I build the product right? In other words, we're looking at defect containment, and this occurs through two mechanisms, peer reviews and test. There are three aspects to the verification process area. Get ready, do peer reviews, and do testing. The model does emphasize the two analysis practices, one for analyzing peer review data and the other for test data, so you can identify defect patterns in the data, figure out what's causing those defects, and make changes upstream to prevent them in the future. After all, customers want a defect-free product, so we owe it to them and to ourselves to capture and prevent as many defects as we can and it reduces unplanned rework as well. Validation, in contrast to verification, answers the question, did I build the right product? It's not just about user acceptance testing, but about making sure, even in requirements gathering, that we have a good handle on how the product will actually be used so we can build the right solution. Validation has the same sequence as verification. Identify what you're going to validate, make sure the environment is as close to real as possible, put some judgment criteria in place, then validate and analyze the results. Remember the validation practice and requirements development? That's where it starts. It ends with user acceptance testing, and even after that, and feedback from the field. Of course, if we wait that long, we're just fixing things we should have gotten right from the start. And for an Agile project, it starts with acceptance criteria and ends with a sprint and release demos. So these are the engineering process areas in the CMMI. Essentially, they're just good practice, aren't they? So far, we've been talking about improvement aimed at the project level. In our next segment,